Hello guys, I'm back from my trip, which means that I am ready to jump back into the game and build something. There was no video last week because I was traveling, but now I'm back and build something with you guys. So let's just go into it. And just a quick reminder, you can follow me on Twitter. I post sometimes about The Sims and all of my builds are uploaded to the gallery. My ID is Cats Against Crime. So if you want to follow me there too, you can do that. Let's load up the game. So we are in one of the lots in Granite Falls, which is the world that comes with the game pack outdoor retreat. And it is a retreat type of world. So I don't think you can have residential lots in here. So this is going to be a rental, but you can turn this into a regular house. But my idea was to build kind of a contemporary home that's kind of hidden away in the woods. And I want to make it modern, but I also want to have the nature surrounding it, creating a modern and comforting space. So let's try to go for that. And I want to use the terrain tool as well. I think it would be cool to do like a contemporary lake house. I know we already have all of this here, but we can try to create our own small lake. Hey, it's Wistaf from the future. I am breaking the space and time continuum to make an announcement. No, I'm just kidding. It's day two of building and I am showing up early in the video because some of the footage that was recorded on the first day actually had some problems with the audio, which is something that I couldn't have predicted. So I'm sorry about that. But so the audio is lost, but I will be showing the footage and I will talk a little bit about what I was doing there and what my motivations for for the build that we're doing are. Most of the video is fine and I will include those moments that are fine in, but I will be just talking a little bit over the footage now and then the video will resume as normal. So let's check out this build. You may see me double here, uh, so I'm sorry for the nightmare fuel, but basically I wanted to make this house on a small cliff that goes directly into the water or into the lake and for that I played with the terrain a little bit and I played with the shape of it as well and I wanted to make sure that the part of the house with the windows um, were directed towards the lake so they had a nice view of the lake and the main feature of this house is going to be this roof piece that slides down the cliff and then goes into the lake and we're going to be using some industrial elements to kind of build a frame around it, around the roof. And we're gonna be doing that with the help of the tool mod. And uh, we take a few roof pieces to create this elongated shape that slides down and goes into the water. Uh, and it's a shame that the audio was lost because I showed the process and explained in detail, but hopefully this, this footage will give you a glimpse of, of how it was done. And for the cliff itself, I wanted it to make it look natural. So I used some rocks and stones from the debug and the live edit catalogs. And one thing that I was talking about uh, when I was building was that I usually take into account the place where I'm building. So since this world, which is the world that comes with Outdoor Retreat, has a lot of rock formations and cliffs and stones, it made sense to have a cliff there and some rocks and to make it look like it was intentional I used some rocks from the same pack from Outdoor Retreat and it looks more blended in because you are using objects that are placed around the world so you know if it's if you use a lot of the same stuff that you see around then uh, that's good for immersion for the build and another thing that I commented while I was building was some comments that you left on my previous videos and by the way I read all of the comments even though I may not answer all of them and that's well I was traveling so it was kind of difficult for me uh, but I wanted to say that they're very appreciated uh, what I wanted to say was that some of you suggested uh, I do a video about the tool mod and I wanted to ask if you would be interested in watching a tutorial so uh, I would definitely do something like that nothing super complicated so a video just explaining and showcasing uh, how I use the tool mod for my builds uh, even for the simpler things like uh, scaling a rug up or down or slightly tilting an object to make it look better on a shelf that kind of stuff so let me know if you if you would like that because I would be down to doing something like that and I'm not a pro with the tool mod 
There's a tutorial out there by the creator, Twisted Maxi. There are a few things that I don't use, but yeah, it would be just from the perspective of a builder and how I use it to make kind of a few elements uh, in the build look better. But yeah, for the stairs of the house, you will see that I place a rock that makes it look like they built the stairs around the rock rather than the other way around. And I kind of like using that item to kind of create custom stairs. And for the wallpaper, I also use wood texture from Outdoor Retreat and then we use some rock as well. And uh, I do this because I wanted to create a very contemporary cabin while still utilizing elements and materials that you would find in a regular lake house or in a cabin in the woods. Okay, that's it for me for now. Let's go back to the normal build and I will see you on day two. Okay, this is what it looks like now, but we will apply some glass texture and I think we can even squeeze in a kind of balcony in here. Okay, it's taking a little bit of shape. I think I'm gonna work a little bit on the landscaping for now. Just gonna change the trim. I am aware that this is not centered, so... I mean with the house, so I think I wanna do that. Otherwise it's gonna drive me crazy. Okay, much better now. Okay, I expanded this trim throughout the house. Let's try to get some windows in. Now we wanna go for something contemporary. I'm thinking of big glass windows, such as these ones from Snowy Escape. Let's just plop some around. And I also want some big windows on this wall. And for the front door, I think it makes sense to have some glass doors as well. Let's place some lights in here so we can see what we're working with. I have an idea, which is I would like to have this open, but because it's a roof piece, it will not count as being the interior of the house. So I think I'm going to do a trick and I'm going to place some beams around to kind of mimic the placement of the beams outside. I'm gonna use this door, or rather this archway from the werewolves pack. I'm gonna place them and I'm gonna scale them very, very small. And with the tool mod, I'm gonna move the columns around a bit just to make it look like it's all the same structure. And this is the view from the inside. I think it looks okay. So for the floor plan, I want to have maybe the one bedroom right away and it would make sense to have the bedrooms facing the water so we can have them like this and then we have the corridor in this wall that doesn't see outside because it's more important to have the windows on the bedrooms in my opinion and this room here i think could be a bathroom we can create like a zen type of thing with these rocks Actually, I think if we place the stairs like this, we can extend these bedrooms a little bit more. We can have maybe the main bedroom here, secondary bedroom. And I think this right here is a good spot for something else, for another bedroom maybe, since we have the stairs here. And I think it's good to have a bathroom by the entrance so we can place that in. I just realized that the beams I had placed here disappeared and I hate when that happens. Okay, I'm gonna add that in later and let's figure out this floor plan. I think I like the idea of having it open floor, which is common for contemporary houses, but we have this room here, which can be maybe an office or another bedroom. We still need to figure that out. And here we would have the stairs. So I think we actually, I don't know if we should close this space off. Now that I have placed some fences, I think this should align with the floor underneath. Maybe we should do some pillars instead of the beams we had before. Yeah, let's keep it simple. And I like this. I think we have space here for the kitchen, dining and living. We have the bathroom here, bedroom here, and then two bedrooms here, a bathroom. Now I think I want to give these sims access to this outer area with maybe windows like this. Okay, I have decided that only the main bedroom will have access to this area, but I still included windows in every room down here because it makes sense with this amazing view that the sims are going to have. And I know this bathroom looks big, but it's because it has all of the, this rock that we can actually use. So it takes, because it takes up a lot of space, but still it's something more luxurious. So I think it's fine. And I think we can actually try to use these windows because 
I don't use them often. And I think they go well with this vibe that we have with the beams. I think they will look good in the kitchen. I think we can continue the theme of the dark wood throughout the house. I think I want to extend this wall and just to have more working space and kind of frame where the living room is going to be. For wallpaper, I want something simple and then we can change as we find necessary. I also just replaced these windows to match what we have on the other side. And now I think we can start on the furnishing. I am not done with the outside, but I think I want to come back to it later. Let's start with the kitchen and let's add what's missing here. Oh, I don't like what this happens, so I'm just going to do double sink and oven over on this side. Okay, I think this is looking good. Maybe we can get a better wall to go behind this. By this, I mean the kitchen. I kind of wanted to have this almost luxury vibe just because it's a contemporary house in the middle of the woods. So I want it to be kind of expensive and like a retreat for a family that just want to get away for the weekend. Still not sure about the stools. Let's see what they would look like here with also the dining table here. I think we have enough space, but let's test it. Let's use this big one. Actually, I think we can do the dining area maybe a little bit more towards the entrance. And I hadn't exactly anticipated all of these darker colors, but I'm not mad at them. And I think we can do something with the green, maybe these chairs like so. Now let's push this behind a little bit because I want to have a fireplace here. I want to use this one because it looks like it's the same kind of wood, not wood, stone that we have outside already. I'm going to make these walls stone as well. And it would make sense because this is technically against the terrain. I think we'll do a smaller island and get the living room over here. I kind of want to use the Desert Lux couches. I'm thinking it's kind of squished in here, so I will reduce the kitchen a little bit. Okay, I think we can have a couple of couches like that. And I'm thinking of a green rug or maybe the living space. Let's do this one from Get Famous. I'm just gonna scale it up with the tool mod. Okay, I think these changes will make more sense. Um, I think we actually have more space to add a bigger island now. And this part over here, we can probably create like a built-in unit of some sort. I think we'll just do the stone in the kitchen. Okay, this is the new layout. I think we can try to fit in the fireplace now. Fits in beautifully. Maybe we just don't have the stools there. We'll, we'll come back to it. I think it would be even better to go for this clear roof texture. Yeah, that's way less busy. I think I want to trade the rug for a square one, just because the space is kind of awkward. In the interior, we might do the same thing here. And let's just change the trim. Okay, I think I want to change some lighting around. Let's do this in the kitchen. Let's do this one on the dining area. Let's do these shelves from the same pack that we have in the kitchen. They have these lights underneath, and this is a dark space, so I think it will look good. We can even have a tea maker here. And I think I just want to add a plant here and probably just a painting like this. I just want to add the lemons here and probably like a candle to get some more light in. I can't find those lemons. Oh my god, I found them. No joke, I just spent five days looking for this item. And let's finish it off with the candle. This wall here is asking for a painting, so let's add maybe this one. And let's put some clutter and finish the kitchen. The trash can can go over here. And let's add some clutter. I already put some things out that we can rearrange. However, I don't know how personal I want to make this house because this is in a rental lot. I think I want to make it a little bit more, I don't know, just a little bit simpler in case you want to just spend a weekend here and then if you want to move sims in maybe you can add more details later especially because clutter uses a lot of packs and i assume most people don't have all of the packs so you wouldn't be losing a lot anyway but let's just add enough to make it warm and inviting let's add some knives in 
And I want to put in the cutting board. Okay, I think a cluttered corner in the kitchen instead of all the kitchen is okay. I'm just going to put this here. And I want to finish off with the cutting board, as I said. These catalogs are so long right now. We need new categories for some things at least. There we go. That's the kitchen finish. I think I just want to add a dishwasher. We can hide it on the island and maybe some other appliance. Let's do the microwave here. And I think that's it for the kitchen. Okay, I think I want to replace this one, this lamp. Maybe we should do this one. And I think I want to have a little table here. It would be a good spot to have pieces of art. I'm thinking of those from Home Dream Decorator. These one. Let's do this one because it's not as chunky. Let's add a little bit of the green that we have in the dining room. Let's reorganize this table. Okay, that looks cleaner. And I think we can add a bookshelf over here. We still have this area outside which we can turn into something. I'm thinking of having another seating area and some skill building items. So we could put an easel in there. I think we can do some chairs like this and add this as a side table. Can't forget about adding lots of plants. I decided to also include this study nook over here. And to separate both of the spaces, I just made this custom shelf between the beams just to kind of have the separation. And I was about to place some clutter in them. So let's do that. Okay, that's one of the shelves done. And now let's add this little llama here. So it's day two of building and we still have a lot of things to do. We have a lot of decoration to finish and we have the bottom floor all to be done. So let's get into furnishing again. This wall here needs something. Honestly, I think this would look good here. Yeah, actually I just made this whole wall wood and I think I prefer it this way. And I also introduced some wood in the corridor downstairs just because it was a lot of stone. I'm gonna keep it simple for this corridor. It's just a, a spot in the house where there's traffic, so I don't want to clutter it too much. And I think we can start thinking about these bedrooms. I was thinking we can use something like this to create a custom headboard. And we can try merging it with a bed that we have in the game. I think this one goes well with it. Let's use this bed side tables from Snowy Escape. And I would like to have some kind of pendant lights coming from the ceiling, but let's see what we have. Let's do this one from Spa Day. Now let's use this dresser that I like a lot. I'm actually gonna rotate these side tables just to have this part be the front because I like that for some reason. We can do a feature wall over on this side. Let's do the stone actually. I think it goes better with the color in here. I think the browns were clashing. And I'm just gonna add these simple objects to have something on this wall too. We need some plants in here so Let's add those. Also, this is a funny question, but how do you leave your shoes if you put them against the wall or something? Do you leave them facing the wall or away from the wall? Because I think I leave them facing the wall. I'm not sure, but... So I think this bedroom, we can also include a double bed. I'm just gonna move this door here so it doesn't interfere with the side table. And I wanna use similar things because since this is a rental and I wanna keep the vibe similar because it's a whole rental and they usually have similar vibes at least in my experience the bedrooms but i still want to be able to tell them apart and i want each to have its own vibe so so since we have a lot of dark woods in the other bedroom maybe we can do some light woods or some beiges in this one and this is a style that i don't mind or colors that i don't mind i actually find them peaceful so i think it works for a rental of the sort. I think this is a cool artwork that we can include in this bedroom. And I'm thinking we need some curtains in here, so let's get some in. We can do the lighter for this smaller bedroom, and maybe the black ones for the bigger one. It's incredible the difference that curtains make. I think we can create maybe a sitting corner over here, since we don't have any doors from this bedroom. Going to the this outer area, let's maybe get a comfy chair. What if we add a little bit of red or this blood orange color kind of tie in with what we have 
in the painting. I think I like this. I like having these surprise moments of color, uh, which aren't too common, but when done correctly, they bring a nice pop of color and they make the space more interesting, especially if the space is looking very bland. Like we had here a lot of whites, beiges and grays, so I think it makes it a little bit more interesting, but it's definitely not everyone's cup of tea. I want to add a plant here as well. Maybe we switch places. Let's get some bedside lamps. And I love these ones. They're my favorites in the game, I think. We can even include a stack of books next to this chair. For the wardrobe, maybe we can do this one because it's slimmer than most of the ones we have in the game. We can do this nice cream color and have a full length mirror over here. Actually, let me swap it around because I think it would be weird to have a mirror right in front of the bed. And so we can have it over on the side and we have more space for it. Pretty sure Sims can route through this space but we can test that too i think we can finish off with some shoes right here but honestly let's make this wall a stone wallpaper so there's a little bit more interest in, in here and now yes i think we have also finished this bedroom we should probably work on this entrance as well we can do a big rug and maybe have a table in the center of the entrance actually i wasn't really feeling it so let's do a sitting bench here by the entrance we can probably get some more shoes here let's do some curtains too i think we could probably squeeze in this mirror here even though i'm tempted to use this one that we have in the bedroom okay now let's keep this one i think if we made it maybe the same length as the bench it will look better yeah i think i prefer it much more and i think we should do the stone for all of these walls in the entrance I'm just gonna add some of these lights in here. I just placed some more plants in there and also a hanging one. And I think we're left with the bathrooms. So I think I'm gonna do this one on camera and the other one, I'll just do a smaller version of this. I kinda wanna make this dark tile. And one of the downsides of having these rocks coming through the wall is that the lighting on them depends on the lighting outside. So they have this blue hue, which we can really change, but I still think it's a cool idea to incorporate them in the bathroom. So I think it would be cool if we could kind of implement the shower amongst the rocks. So I have different plans for this bathroom. So I think I'm gonna create like a regular quote unquote bathroom here and I'm gonna put some showers in here to kind of make a steam room of some sort. So I'm gonna put a window and a glass door just so you still get that natural light in from outside and you also get a bit of the view. And the rocks kind of give you privacy for all of this bathroom area. Okay, I just rotated the shower uh, to kind of fit it inside the rock and maybe this will make sense to some people, but I think it looks cool and it's a cool idea, so I want to keep it. Let's add some more details in and put one of these in. And I think we should go all out and add some greenery even in this. Maybe we just do these ferns to keep it simpler and control more where the greenery goes. Okay, let's leave it at that. Let's get the toilet out. We also have a bathtub over here, like this. Let's do some counters over on this wall. Now we can do a double sink as well and include a big mirror over on this wall. This one from Spade. Let's reuse these lights that we used in the bedroom because they give this luxury feel. I'm just gonna place them better because this way you can see them from the inside. And I really like this item too from Tiny Living. I'm just gonna rearrange this clutter here. Let's add some soap too. Let's finish with this painting here. Maybe right above the toilet. And I think this is the bathroom all finished. I'm gonna do the other bathroom and finish up the outside and then we will be back for the final tour. See you then. So here we are in the final build and this is what it looks like. It's very modern and very contemporary, but I like that it's kind of in conjugation with the nature because it's going into the water and then it's also built on top of these rocks. This is the side of the build. This is the back of the build, which technically is the front of the lot. And this is the other side of the build, which is also where you would walk up the stairs to get inside the house. 
And by the way, I did play test these stairs and they work. And when we go up the stairs, we have the front door here and a bench, but we also have this passageway, which we can check right away. Over here, we have the trash can tucked away. And at the end, we have a little sitting area with a grill and some plants. So it's a simple and small area where you can eat outside and enjoy the weather. But yeah, back to the front door. As soon as we walk in, we have the entrance, which has a bench, a mirror, and some decoration. And right away we have a door which leads us into the first bathroom. And it's very moody, dark, and simple, but I think it also has a little bit of refineness. It's kind of chic in my opinion. But yeah, it has everything that you would need. Back into the entrance, then we have a archway that leads us to the open area. So we have on the left the kitchen, which is not very cluttered, just a little bit there. It's quite simple. And across you have the living area, so it has a fireplace with a TV and some couches. And then to the right we have the dining area with this long table and we actually have a bar over here in this kind of built-in unit and I noticed that a few items disappeared. I hate when that happens. But back into the living room we have over here a sitting area with this gorgeous view and next to it we have a little study area with this custom shelving that we did and I can just imagine what it would be like to study or work with a view like this. And then over on the other side we have the easel and then we have some bookshelves and some decorations and tucked away here we have the stairs to go to the bottom floor so we actually walk into the house on the top floor. So here in the hallway, the first door to the right, we have the bedroom, which is the bigger bedroom. And it's very modern and contemporary. It has a lot of earthy tones and materials like wood and stone. And it has those brown colors and also grays and whites. And it has this huge door with private access to this balcony. So it's the only room that can access it. We have a small sitting area with some drinks and magazines and a candle. And I reckon the view from this floor is better than on the top floor. And over to this side, I placed a yoga mat because I thought it would be really cool to do yoga with a view like this. Back into the hall, we have the second door, which leads us to the second bedroom. It's a little bit smaller, but it's also lighter. It also has this amazing view and it's quite simple, but it has a lot of potential to be personalized if that's something that you would like to do. Back into the hall, we have the third and last door, which is the last bathroom. And like the first bathroom, it has a lot of dark tones. Here we have the sinks, the bathtub and the toilet. And the star of this bathroom to me is this other section. So we have this shower that's coming out of, of the rocks or that's been incorporated into the rocks. And we kind of created this steam room. So there are a lot of plants growing in it. I think it's a really cool way to kind of connect with nature and it still lets the light through without covering too much but giving privacy at the same time. And this is it for our contemporary lake house. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I think the thing I like about it the most is the fact that we have this man-made structure that has been integrated into the nature. So I really like the merge and I really like how the lighting also hits every room. Let me show you. Look at the way it flows inside. And even on the bedrooms, it's, it's really pretty. But yeah, let me know your thoughts and what kind of sims you would imagine living here. And this brings us to the end of the video, so I want to thank you so much for watching and also for all of your comments in my past videos. It's really good to see where everyone's from, so keep sending messages my way. And also all of your reading suggestions, I have been keeping an eye out for them, so keep sending them my way too. I'm always on the lookout and interested in seeing. Once again, thank you so much for all of your love. As always, this build will be up in the gallery my idea is cats against crime and if you have any other doubts any other suggestions or challenges that you would like me to do let me know as well and as always thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video bye bye